Hello, this is James. We're going to be doing our review of the Duel Link's new mini box arriving on March 11th. First, we need to address the name Dimension of the Wizards mini box, the next level of spellcaster psychic strategies, blah, 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 blah. That is horrible, so I have something better. Focus Academy, name of the mini box. Years of study shall be sorely tested. Only superior willpower can prevail because it's the psychics and spellcasters pitting their mental energy against one another in stand duels like JoJo. And if you say, but James, the little Natura animals, they can't have mental energy duels. Well, you have not watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And if you have not, you really should Google it. It is life changing. All right, let's begin with. Arcanite Magician, an Arcanite Magician, you Synchro Shokan, you get two spell counters, and you can spend those spell counters to target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. It's not even once per turn, but it does power down the card. This makes me think of an Xyz monster. I'm aware this is a Synchro monster. We don't have Xyz yet, but the past two events, the Evil Swords from Tyranno and the Fiend Illusion from Loomis and Umbra, are hard teasing the Xyzen, and Arcanite Magician is very similar to, to an Xyz monster in that when you contact summon it, uh, when you overlay it, you get materials, and then you can spend those materials to to do an action. And uh, I don't know, I mean, he's not, it's not like crazy. He's kind of like a upgraded but more complex version of Breaker the Magical Warrior, probably not meta changing. But, you know, if you can get a double destroy into a silent waifu, that's super good. Uh, Psychic Wielder. So this is the resetting UR. We're going to have a little treatise on, on the URs. But basically, if you control a level 3 monster other than this, you can special summon this card from your hand defense position. You can only do this once per turn. And then if it's uh, sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material, you can target one monster in the field with less attack than the Synchro Monster. Used this card as Material. Destroy it. You can only use this once per turn. This is amazing. It has a spe it special summons itself, and it gets uh, it has a control effect on your opponent. This is the resetting you are. This is not dimensional prison. When an opponent's monster declares an attack target, the attacking monster banish that target. I mean, all right. So I used to be like, okay, I want to get I. James wants to get all of the cards. All right, I I can't reset the box until I have at least one of every ultra rare and. Every super rare, and that's why even though I got Junk Synchron on the first like pack of the Secrets of the Ancients, I didn't reset it because I have to get uh, whatever the other... Well, no, Armades and Ancient Fairy Dragon were pretty good. But I remember not resetting because I didn't get Memory of an Adversary. And Dimensional Prison is only slightly better than Memory of an Adversary. And what I was doing was I was just trying to not make a decision, right? I was trying to... like. If I if I if I say okay, I'm gonna focus on getting all of the cards. Like I don't have to say, psychic wielder is better than dimensional prison, or or whatever other ultra rares are better than any of the other ultra rares. I'm just gonna you know use the resources and get all of them when I should be saving the resources to get more of this because this makes a good fun deck and this is just like a staple card. This will go in with your. Wall of, not Wall of Disruption. This will go in with your Sakuretsu Armor and your Widespread Ruin. It's just a different version of that. Uh, of the three of those cards, uh, Widespread Ruin still the best. This is probably number two because it target banishes and then Sakuretsu Armor is the worst one because it target destroy banishes a better form of removal. So uh, this is... Okay, you know, this maybe this is interesting, but you only need like one of these at most. Uh, this is reset. If you have this and the super rares that you want and you don't have this, uh, I recommend resetting the box because this is not this is not essential. But uh ooh, ooh, mmm, guns was prophetic. I see a Giga and I see a Freed, the Matchless General, or the Brave Wanderer. Alright. Nichuria Landoisy, while this card is face up on the field, you can send one. Spell card from your hand to the graveyard and negate the activation of an effect monster's effect and destroy it. 
Uh, this is pretty decent. I wish it was an even number. And I wish it was... It's also hard to summon. Like, you could do this with... I don't know, maybe Amazons? But, um... I don't know, I feel like that would just make Amazons worse. Hopefully it makes Naturas much better. I look forward to the re return of the original free-to-play deck. Uh, Gaia, all right, this is just the Synchro version of Gaia. Elemental Hero Escuriado is a level up of Destiny Hero Dangerous. It's a fusion monster. It's basically the same. Oh, no, but it, instead of, like, a hero plus a dark, it's an Elemental Hero uh, plus a dark, but then, you know, you can go, you can do this guy, yeah, so you can add, I guess, mass change to your elemental hero decks, so that's fun, uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict is a card that, uh, it seems like it's amazing and meta crushing, but I think that it actually is not, because, um, when you're, once you're when your opponent activates a monster effect, you could target one effect monster your opponent controls. So not the one, not necessarily the one that activated the effect, just any of them. Uh, or in their graveyard, equip that target to this card you control. This card gains attack and defense equal to the equipped monsters. Monsters with the equipped monster's name cannot attack also their effects in the field. And activated effects are negated. So that sounds really, really good. And we even have a really easy way of getting them out, right? It's... Uh, Elemental Hero Blazeman, I'm going to spend the extra 7 bucks. I'm going to get the extra Blazemans, uh, the two extra Blazemans, and I'm going to I'm gonna be playing Millennium Eyes Restrict, or trying to. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll, get, a, I'll get one more Blazeman, and then I'll test it with two, because Millennium Eyes Restrict, like, all the opponent has to do is to just not activate the effect monster's effects, right? And Millennium Eyes Restrict with zero attack points is, is very vulnerable. So... Uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict, I mean, you only need one or two of them, so it, it and he, I mean, he's an extra deck monster, so you, you don't have to go too crazy, but, uh, like, when I first read this, I was like, whoa, like, eyes ah, huge, but I think that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to find a niche for Millennium Eyes Restrict. Glyph, the Phantom Bird, we're getting Stromberg's Golden Castle, uh, Golden Castle of Stromberg, and this is the Searcher. What does Golden Castle do? Basically gives you a bunch of free stuff and enables direct attacking. Uh, my amateur analysis is that it's like an upgraded version of Toon World. So instead of just protecting your board, Golden Castle of Stromberg also uh, lets you pull a bunch of free stuff out of the deck. And then it has other cards tied to it. We don't have enough time to go into all of it in this video. But it has other cards tied to it that also pull free stuff out of the deck. And lets you win in the two turns that Golden Castle gives you. Because uh, we're limited to 30 cards max. And Golden Castle, you have to banish 10 cards off the top every turn. Not optional every standby phase. Alright. Natura Mantis. When your opponent normal summons a monster, you can send one Naturia monster from your hand to the graveyard to destroy that monster. Ooh. Uh, like a little baby uh, scold. Natura Mantis gives them the slap with the leaf. Send the normal monster to the graveyard. Better than you might think. It's not all about the special summoning. A lot of a lot of normal summoning feeds special summoning. Think about your ancient gear wyverns and your normal summoning of the blue boy. Your normal summoning of Breaker the Magical Warrior. Normal summoning the um, the tuner, the Buster Buster Blader tuner. All kinds of things that are prevented by Naturia Mantis. Uh, Madolce, Maglien, uh, Madolce is when they're destroyed or sent to blah blah blah, graveyard, shuffle them back into the deck. When this card is normal summon, you can add one Madolce monster from your deck to your hand. Search that one princess. I just need, I just need one. I just need one princess. Because we're also getting Hoot Cakes, uh, destroy, shuffle. You can, it, blah blah blah. You can target one monster in your graveyard, banish it, and if you do, special summon one Madolce monster from your deck, except Madolce Hoot Cake. So that, uh, that searches Princess like directly from the deck. So this and this basically have the same goal, but Hoot Cake is better. Uh, Defender of the Magical Knight, uh, kind of a meh. Like, I would reset against Defender of the Magical Knight. Normal summon, spell counter on it. Once per turn, if a spellcaster monster in the field will be destroyed... You remove one spell counter from your side of the field for each of those monsters instead. So, um, like a worse 
addition to a silent waifu deck than a breaker or a blue boy but if you if you have him after you get silent waifu because he sees a second order card that's why i i'm not so crazy about him if you have him after the silent waifu we can protect the silent waifu so that's good but he doesn't he doesn't get the party rolling by himself uh rocket hand Target one attack position monster you control with 800 or more attack. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, target one face-up card in the field. Oh, if you can send this equipped card to the graveyard and target one face-up card in the field. Destroy it. Then change the attack of the monster this card was equipped to to zero. Also, its battle position cannot be changed. You can only use one rocket hand effect per turn and only once during that turn. So it's restrictive. Like, you can't equip it and then uh, pop it off to destroy the monster. But someone suggested that it makes silent not silent makes the woman even more irritating and that they were right so if within two days of the box opening i have not made that deck please ask me to do so slash remind me uh all right and then let's go over some of the better more interesting rares psycho life transfer is not interesting but it is the psychokinesis monster that's kind of neat uh princessin blah 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 this can this can equip stuff uh this is connected to golden castle of stromberg and it can get some big direct attacks i think that's th this is basically the win condition of golden castle of stromberg iron hand stromberg uh these naturia cards i think yeah natura cherries is basically a level one uh cherry in mado it has like the same effect seven from the field by but but it's better it's battle or card effect but it's fewer stars uh, you can special summon up to two Natura Cherries from your deck and face down defense position. So, like a better version, a different version of Natura, uh, Cherry and Mado, but an upgraded Stygian Security. Uh, this sucks. This is not great. Oh, Old Vindictive Magician. Flip target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Free to play, Man Eater Bug. Man Eater Bug does target, uh, even though it doesn't say it's just an old card and the text hasn't been updated. Man Eater Bug does target. Uh, but Man Eater Bug has the advantage of being able to destroy one of your own cards. So, like, you could destroy uh, a Lava Golem. Sometimes that's that, that doesn't really come up. But uh, Old Vindictive Magician, free to play, Man Eater Bug. Thank you, Konami. And also, thank you, Konami, for this. Mech Knight Avram, normal monster, 2,000 attack, zero defense, uh, no longer, so, so these normal monsters have been power crept down into rare status, no longer will my guaranteed super rares be sullied by a useless non-meta dead end card, thank you Konami, please make this permanent, I don't want to, I don't want to get these as guaranteed super rares anymore, alright, this is great. Please keep it this way. And um, basically, <laughs> not, I don't, not all of the level 3 Psychic Tuners, but a lot of them, uh, well, okay. A, lo a lot of level 3 Psychic Special Summoning, Enabling, uh, Synchro, Shokan, or perhaps Xyz in the future. But I think the best one of these lower level ones is going to be Psychic Tracker. If you control a level 3 monster other than Psychic Tracker, you can Special Summon this card, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can only special summon Psychic Tracker once per turn this way. A Synchro Monster uses this card as material, gains 600 attack. And this level 3 Psychic Tracker, plus the card that we will be resetting for. Basically, uh, the two reset cards are going to be Psychic Wielder and Glyph, the Phantom Bird. I'm just assuming that Stromberg is, is going to be good. Uh, because I heard Dazeev say it was too good for Duel Links. Anyway, uh, Psychic Wielder is going to be able to give, plus another level 3 Psychic, it's going to be able to give us the Worm, and might finally quench my thirst. So, uh, I think this looks like a fun box. Can you skip this box? Everyone always asks me this. Can you skip this box? I would say yes. I would, I mean, because, you know, you can always, you can always go back. You can always go back and get the, I mean, I'm assuming that people that want to skip the box are free to play and then they, they spend gems, not money. So it doesn't, the, the sale period doesn't really matter to them. Also, we all get sales every time that a new box comes out. So it's not a huge deal if you miss the sale when the box is released. But, I mean, I mean, Medolches have a better way to get out Princess. 
but they don't really have any way to get out uh, any huge threats. Uh, Stromberg looks interesting, but I don't think it's going to be the only good deck. Like, I don't think it's going to beat Kowakis, maybe. Uh, and then, you know, like Millennium Eyes Restrict, it, it just prevents your opponent from, from doing things. So, can you miss this box? I would say yes. I, I would say yes, but obviously I'm going to go into it because we got we to gotta make that content. Thank you for watching.